Hey there everyone, welcome to another episode of Roller Coaster Tycoon Tutorial featuring Scenario 3, Leafy Lake. This is Deegan from Deegan Network. Thank you. Okay, uh, starting from scratch, build a theme park around a large lake. Your objective, to have at least 500 motherfuckers in your park at the end of October Year 3 with a park rating of at least 600. Okay, that sounds pretty simple enough. Uh, looks like the admissions free, which is full crap. Uh huh. Okay. Let's take a look here. So we have plenty of space around this large lake. Now there are a couple of things that we can do. I actually do like this park, um, despite the fact that it is kind of weird uh, having this water, you know, pool of water just over here in the lake. But um, you know, nice scenery. You can also, I believe you can buy land here. Um, hmm. Yes, you can buy land here. All over the place. But you shouldn't have to, to be honest with you. Okay, so my recommendation is to, first of all, cut off the paths uh, of the land and gradually uh, connect those paths as you go along the park. Uh, that way, you don't have to keep building around the entire lake. You can choose where to build. Um, that's one of the mistakes that a lot of people make in the in parks like these. It's almost like uh, Scenario 5's uh, Evergreen Gardens. It's pretty much the same thing, except this one, you don't have people. Um, I, I recommend probably just go ahead and cutting off immediately uh, one side of the park. Yeah, and go ahead and open up your park. Yeah, cut off one side of the park immediately, and let's just go ahead and get rid of that space right there. So now all the guests are limited to uh, this area right here, which is where you're going to build, you know, where, where I'm going to build my first, you know, rides or so. Oh, man, that is a horrible group. Fuck that shit. Okay, we're gonna go maximum funding and we are going to build some rides. Um, it doesn't really matter what right now because, you know, we just opened the park. Doesn't really matter. There are a lot of trees here and you can choose to get rid of it or whatever. It's up to you. Uh, ta da! Ta da! Yay! Open the merry round. Let's go ahead and have it uh, tested first. Put that up to a dollar. Cool. Next, Ferris wheel. It's like we we're only getting carnival type rides around here. Could go ahead and build my own little custom car ride if I wanted to, which is you know acceptable. Hmm. I'll just go ahead and do that. Ferris wheel isn't exactly the most popular of rides, but hey, some people like it. Definitely recommend uh, changing the number of rotations down to one, um, so you know people can actually get off of the ride. That's another common mistake that some people make. Uh, throw rides. We got the scrambled scrambled eggs. Okay. I guess we can go ahead and build that over here. And we will do something like that. Now the reason why I did that, um, I do not like to have, you know, four paths because uh, it, it gets really confusing, it makes it really hard for people to walk around and uh, handyman to actually, you know, clean the park actually just hinders your performance of your staff. So that's one thing that you should uh, also consider. 10 and... Oh, we have to test this shit. Fuck her out. Okay. Don't really want to spend too much time on a simple building but we also have like stuff like boat hire now you could be one of those people and be like oh I'll build a boat hire and I'm just not even gonna build tracks they can do whatever they want 
Uh, that's also not recommended, especially if you're going to use the lake for other purposes. Um, I'm probably going to build a roller coaster in the lake, uh, like I did on a previous tutorial vi video when I did Leafy, Leafy Lakes. Um, that I did a pretty good job on that one, so I'm going to attempt to recreate that. I believe I did wooden, but I'm going to make sure I don't do wooden on that. And I don't really like steel mini roller coaster. So that's that's the extent where I'm going to do that. I'm going to always build a track when it comes to these uh, canoe or boat types. Um, unless I'm making a pool of water myself. Oh, let's see here. Hmm. Food court. That's another important issue. Hmm. I guess I will build a food court on the lake. That can be fun. This stupid shit here. And where's that ice cream stall? The reason why I'm doing this, I'm trying to give a little bit of creativity with my parks. Okay. It's always uh, nice to have trash cans and all that crap occasionally and that's a good spot for an information kiosk like I said it can get very confusing for these uh, idiots there we go I think that's a little bit normal Get your ass over there, bitch. Okay. Mm, I think I'm gonna go ahead and build a couple more rides. It really, I really don't know until I get that first roller coaster. Maybe we should uh, take a peek. We're getting steel roller coaster first, so that would be awesome. That's gonna be shuttle loop coming up. We'll go ahead and make make that the first money maker. All right. Well, I'll see you guys a little bit later, perhaps in you know June of year one. Not really sure yet. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so it is March year two. Sorry, I said I would be you know doing an update around June year one. However, this uh, roller coaster that I decided to build really, really pissed me off. The first uh, roller coaster that you get is a steel roller coaster, which is so lucky because. Uh, I was able to build Escalation. Uh, it's basically just a shuttle loop, um, you know, like on Forest Frontiers. I built one that was like really cool. Well, I built one where it's just uphill loop, uphill loop, and then it's it's kind of like a variation of it. However, first try 614. It was actually 608. Um, I was very happy with that. And I was like, cool, my shuttle loop is over six. Redemption. And then um, I was like, okay, my park is doing good. Let me build some other custom rides here, here and there, real quick. I built this shitty, really old cars ride, just a car ride, and you know, custom build, whatever, just to take up the space. And no one's on it because they don't want to pay a dollar fifty. And I've been so occupied with getting a certain ride above six that. Uh, Oh, it's too intense for me. Well, you can suck my ass because I spent ten grand on this motherfucker. You know. Um, what's it say? I want to go on something more thrilling. Oh, I'm not paying that much. Suck balls. This roller coaster, I call it Falling Leaves. Um, it's the, it's this one. The fucking steel mini roller coaster. Man, I hate this coaster. I expressed how much I hated it, but I wanted redemption, right? So I built this. My first track, 
I've only spent like three grand on it. It was like four eighty seven. I was like, good. It's better than the the uh, the preset crazy. Oh fuck you. What is it? Better than the uh, preset crazy caterpillar roller coaster. And uh, it's actually shorter too. I was like, cool. Why not? And then I was unsatisfied because I wanted it over six. I added in a couple helixes here and there. I got it up to like five forty. Add a little more. Got it up to 587. I added this drop and tinkered with it a little bit, and it went straight up to 652. And uh, I'm very, very happy about this. Uh, however, the nausea rating is extremely high, so uh, we're definitely gonna have to put some chairs um, around here for the guests. But it is a four dollar roller coaster. It has three trains. It's long enough to support three trains. Therefore, as long as there's people in here, um, we will definitely uh, be making a lot of money with this roller coaster. So that's that's kind of the reason why there's three trains. Very happy about that. Uh, loan. I actually borrowed up to twenty thousand to build this this freaking ride. Um, took me about maybe eight to nine thousand, possibly ten to build it because of all the helixes. But while that was working. Escalation has made six thousand dollars, so um, I was able to pull down, pull my loan down to twelve uh, k. But of course, I had I had over four thousand left over, so you know, in all in all, it works out great. I'm very satisfied. As far as the uh, park goes, I did open it up a little bit more prematurely than I intended. It's just that people were getting everywhere; it was crowded. Uh, I thought maybe it was time to expand the park just a little bit, um, so I'm using about a third, I'm using half the lake um, and about a third of the entire park. Um, I'm actually, I don't know if I'm going to use this entire space here, but I'm very curious about this. This is interesting. I'm hoping that we're going to get some better water rides and I can maybe get a river rapids. I would maybe build that. Use that for the remainder of the lake. His River Rapids is really good as well. Um, it's the uh, one with the the boat. There's 16 passengers. Man, that will easily get up to six, and you don't even have to use a lot of money. It's like two thousand, three thousand dollars to build that damn thing. Oh, ah, you got a shitty hedge maze. God damn it. Well, we'll be building that soon. And uh, we'll check up on this and, you know, cross my fingers, mind you, maybe six months or so. All right, see you. Okay, welcome to September year two. <laughs> yep, I always say that I'm going to see you in six months, and it's more like, well, it's like eight to 12 months. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, I did a little bit. I just finished this. It took me a little bit because I wanted to do like a attempt at like a dual water ride. I realized that I've never done this before, but the synchronization with adjacent stations, I think they have to be exactly close to each other. And I didn't really think that through, and I've already finished it, so I'm not gonna like redo it or anything. But I think it's pretty cool. Um, it's just a little something. Uh, and shows my creativity. Uh, I think it's pretty awesome actually. The log flume is really long. Um, I don't like doing log, long log flume rides because it really eats up the uh, wait time. But it's pretty cool. Uh, it goes down, yada yada yada. It goes through, it really follows the path. There's a huge drop here. Kind of comes around, goes through here just exits that's about it and take me that long to build uh, River Rapids was really cool uh, this is one of my favorite water rides also uh, it goes up there's a lot of rapids and it goes under the log flume um, comes around goes down goes through the waterfall through the rapids goes up through uh, once again under the uh, almost under the log flume but instead of going it goes over the log flume so the log flume goes under the uh, river rapids here and it just kinda meets up 
uh, at various locations it meets up and then you can you know wave to the other people and then you go their separate rides uh, they come down they go around they go through and then uh, once again they cross over at the end and they meet each other of course the River Rapids uh, ride is uh, a lot shorter so leafy logs is a 537 um, I thought it was going to be around 5 I was kinda of surprised that it was 537 but what I'm really surprised about is leafy river it's at a 596 so with a little bit more luck um, as time goes by it might go up to 6 so I'm uh, pretty happy about that but it but these bitches are like I'm gonna go on something more thrilling than leafy you know, river and I'm like dude this is one of my favorite rides of all time in a real theme park it's river rapids like go fuck yourself mm -hmm. oh yeah these these bitches don't want to pay three bucks for a fucking ride totally forgot otherwise they would die to go on it wait five minutes I think everything's cool these fuckers don't want to pay for a haunted house I bet nope you do Cool. Um, other than that, I haven't really extended uh, anything, and I haven't. I've been building uh, almost everything that's available. Definitely not any of these transport crap rides, but uh, you know stuff that's important. And the only thing I really have left is uh, transport rides in this hedge maze that I'm going to make um, on the river. You know what? I may even make a hedge maze. That's a transportation ride. How's that for an idea? <laughs> That's just like messed up. <laughs> One pathway, and then it's just, uh, man, the vandalism here is really bad. Yeah, that's that's definitely a good idea. I might just do it from over on this side to this side. It'd be a douchebag ride to do, but it's it's pretty funny. <laughs> I must admit. All right, peace out. Okay, welcome to Junior 3. Uh, this time I made on time. Sorry about that. I'm, uh, like I said in a previous video, I like to multitask while I play this game. And uh, I was doing a little bit of uh, writing an essay potion. Anyway, I have built the maze transportation. Not that good, but uh, hey, a lot of people seem to uh, enjoy it. 157. It's uh, Melt Mace Dose and Melt Mace Uno. And it's pretty much just a straight line, um, you know, with a little bit of turns here and there. But that's that's pretty much what that does. And, um, you know, if they can't find the exit, they need to fucking die. They, they fail as people. And, oh, I gotta rename this motherfucker. Oh, a berry. Okay. I also made go-karts here um, I decided to utilize the entire lake and I built go-karts over here um, I don't know I just built it 762 not bad of course number of laps is one if I maybe made that like a three it would go up to like nine something but pretty cool spent a little bit of money on it and we're gonna pay down on our loan so close okay this time I'm actually proud of this park this is definitely a much better park than uh, freaking dynamite dunes or forest frontiers like those so it looked like I didn't really give a shit but this one man I am proud I can actually say this is a normal park that the quality of park that I would like to build every single time. Uh huh. Not to mention, I haven't paid down my loan yet, which is rare. I mean, I make a lot of money. I make 2k a week, which is pretty average for me by year three. But uh, not to mention, I don't, I don't even have a shuttle loop, a regular old shuttle loop. I have escalation. Usually, I would build another one. Which I might do actually over here because we, we have space. But oh, we have Gravitron. Nicely done. 
Okay, we got Gravitron. Let's see. Let's put Gravitron right here. Boom. Oh shit, I thought. Okay, and I'm sure this is good. Test open. I think no one will complain with a dollar fifty. Now it's a pretty good idea to Okay, so we got swinging ship people. No one wants to pay money for a swinging ship. My Admission price is at thirty dollars, which is cool. Um, I also forgot to mention this, but they uh, these people they gave me the award for the most disappointing park in the country uh, at the very beginning of the park. Um, at the very beginning, at like April or May, they said mine was the most disappointing park in the country, and I was like, "Dude, I haven't even done anything yet." <laughs> I, it was before I even completed Escalation. I was like, what the fuck, dude? You gotta be kidding me. And I'm actually quite surprised that my ratings are still somewhat reasonable around the 800s. Because, dude, it, it's vandalization and throw up everywhere, you know, and I'm not even, like, cleaning it because I don't care. No one's going on merry round. No one's paying for scrambled eggs. So I'll just lower that down to ten cents. God damn it, man! Piece of shit. Now everyone's gonna wanna over there boat hire. No one's gonna ride that shit. Slide, I bet. No one wants to. Oh my god, everyone loves slide for some fucking reason. It's a weird, strange. It's a strange. I want to go on something more thrilling. More than four. Well, we don't really have more than four items around here. Here, go throw up. All right, cool. Basically, I'm just waiting till the park ends. I mean, I don't really have a whole lot more to build except a water slide ah uh, man I might do that water slides kinda cool um, I could definitely put a water slide in here maybe maybe perhaps uh, probably not man I wish I had a trio that would be cool uh, I promise you I would do some kind of trio on a future park um, if I have adequate space and enough money. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Peace. Hey guys, welcome to October year three. What, what? And I don't care about this guest. Okay, so I guess we can start with the overview of the park. Um bit bigger than uh, usual but for leafy lakes this is usually what I do sometimes I don't use the entire lake just the uh, front half and then I kinda expand over into the uh, green area sometimes but I'm very satisfied with this park I think I did a pretty good job uh, overall uh, particularly the creative aspect here well let's start off with some of the hints um, the success of this park is really path management um, it's similar to Evergreen Gardens, which is scenario five. Um, you just need to cut off the path, make sure your guests don't get out of control, and eventually, as you build enough rides, you could uh, open everything up. And I'm not saying just put a ride over here and you can, you know, open everything up. I mean gradually increase um, your way through. That's generally how you know things like this work. And um, <clears throat> I guess we can go overview of some of the rides that I, I have here. Uh, Escalation is the roller coaster that I built. It's the steel roller coaster. First thing that I built, really, um, that's big, 
and it got 616. Um, I'm very satisfied with this. I'm very happy with it. I think it's great. Um, I managed to get a shuttle loop type roller coaster above six, which uh, I I think I failed to do in Dynamite Dunes. And I barely did it in Forest Frontier, so this is like redemption, you know. And also, I, in Forest Frontiers, I was going to build the Crazy Caterpillar type roller coaster, the the Steel Mini Junior Suck My Asshole roller coaster. It's this one. Steel Mini. Oh, yeah. Uh, fuck off. Will you? It's called Falling Leaves. Yeah, 652. Very awesome. Did take me quite a bit to build, a couple of months, about three or four months to build. And obviously, it's long, and I'm not used to long roller coasters, but I really wanted some redemption here. And I managed to get it up to 652. It was at 587, and I added this little hill going through right there, and I got it up. So I'm very excited, and I'm very happy, and I just got to say, you know, PB, baby, payback. And uh, I'm very proud of this. It's my uh, play on duo uh, rides, both water rides, Log Flume and the River Rapids. And they go through and, uh, you know, they just do things. They kind of just follow each other and underlap, overlap each other. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, the Leafy Logs is 537, while the Leafy River is a 596. So that's pretty cool. Um, I also built go-karts over here. This is the last thing that I built um, And it got a 762 so I'm very pleased with that and it's only one lap of course It's quite long. That's probably why and I also used the uh, mazes hedge mazes made my own There's two of them here the uno and the dos and uh, They're just before I open this path area up what I did was I, I just connected these two in form of a ride because I didn't want to build any transportation rides here so that's that's pretty much that uh, two food courts one in the middle of the the lake and one over here um, not really a food court it's just kinda like stalls by the pier almost but uh, overall I'm very satisfied with this park and my financials are looking good I make Weekly profit 606, so I pretty much make a lot of money. Uh, let's see here. I had 23,000. I have 23,000 monies. Park value is 22. It used to be above 24, about 2,500 uh, or 25,000. That's really nice. Um, I would have passed the uh, a standard park value scenario in this case, so that's really nice and that's it the reason why once again I couldn't put my name down here because it already went through once and I screwed it up um, I was discussing dinner plans with my family and I left this running and therefore uh, it completed the objective without me and that really pissed me off but I have you know over a thousand guests I've had 1100 guests for you know since maybe July of year three so this is really not a hard park, uh, but you can really screw it up royally in the beginning, and it would be very annoying and hard to uh, bounce back from. So thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from this, and uh, if you have any questions or comments, please put them in the uh, section below, and I will get back to you. Uh, subscribe if you wish. Okay, thank you.